The procedure is as follows. First, the application to, to um, uh, plant, to introduce some transgenic uh, uh, plant is uh, presented to the Ministry of Agriculture. They transmit it to the Ministry of the Environment and they, uh, their agency that operates this is Conavio. Um, and Conavio works using a system based on, on, on a few elements. The first one is a database of the literature on this 800 plus um, wild relatives of the transgenic crops and also on the transgenic crops themselves. This is a database of the uh, life histories, the reproductive systems, what kind of dispersal they use for pollen, for seeds, etc. So uh, this gives you an idea of how wide is the, the the dispersal kernel of each one of these species and what kind it's 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 a very easy thing that will just requires pollen to arrive to, to a flower or even it requires a specialized pollinator uh, which has to be present or things like that so this is the first system this the first component the second one is the occurrence databases databases uh, which right now in for the plants in gonna be several million specimens and um, that keep growing all the time because the Conavio um, <coughs> keeps paying for explorations to the field and also for computerization of new herbaria. So this is the number of actual documented occurrences of uh, species in the field. And the third one is um, in, on the basis of that niche modeling can be performed and you get an estimation not just of the of the registers but an area which is likely to contain populations of the species. These three things allow you to estimate one of the risk elements of transgenic crops which is introgression of genes from the the crop, the transgenic crop, to wild relatives or to folk races, to land uh, varieties that are not supposed to have the, the, the transgenic uh, sequences. <coughs> this system that was developed by, by Conavio was then uh, consulted um, with two extreme groups of people. Um, the NGOs that uh, just don't like the idea of transgenics anywhere in the territory of Mexico, for good or bad reasons, that's what they, they they don't like. And on the other hand, the big companies, mostly transnational companies, that are promoting uh, their 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 transgenic um, seeds and constructs, and that basically wouldn't like to have any uh, requisite, just a general approval based on perhaps in on on, on, on a study performed in the U.S. or in Canada. <coughs> These two groups sat together with Conavio and asked a lot of questions about the system uh, and uh, uh, in the end both of them, it took about a year, in the end they, they accepted the, um, the system, they liked that it was transparent, that it was based on science, that it was fast, um, the entire, from since the beginning, since the application arrives to Conavio, to where the, the point where the, the, the recommendation is emitted normally is a week. It was transparent, fast, based on science, and they were consulted. Although, although they, they were in extreme positions, they finally converged into some sort of medium middle ground. And uh, since then, this was 10 years ago, Conavio has issued more than 3,000 recommendations which means it's about one per day. Um, sometimes they, the recommendation says, uh, no, this is too risky, it's too close to documented populations of, of uh, say, cotton. Cotton is an example. Sometimes the recommendation is to, to, to the Minister of, of the Environment is, uh, <clears throat> according to the system, we don't see any problem because they are going to plant this whatever uh, far from any known populations away from the likely uh, areas of distribution the system of pollination is very close um, so 
there is no risk. And a lot of them are like that. Uh, and in some of them, we ask, please go and check in the field, whether there are populations nearby. Uh, <clears throat> that has been very interesting, because in many cases, the, 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 the populations have been located in the field near where the models predict uh, they should be. So this is, this is a, a very nice example of uh, how science, hardcore science, can be eventually turned into policy in the form of permits. You either allocate the permit or you deny the permit. And, and due to the fact that it was done uh, in collaboration or rather in, in an included, inclusive way, uh, um, jointly with the major stakeholders, um, it has credibility, it has legitimacy, and it obviously is uh, very relevant. Today, the, the, uh, the Biodiversity Agency of the Mexican government has grown uh, tremendously. I left it 10 years ago. Since then, its budget has been multiplied by four. Um, uh, the number of personnel working there has increased also very significantly. It uh, answers um, dozens of consults, official consults uh, per year, I mean per month, from the different ministers of the, of the Mexican government, mostly the federal level, uh, in, 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 in wildlife and environmental impact assessments, in forestry, in protected areas, in agriculture, invasive species. It has a big uh, site of invasive species. Um, it gets um, um, thousands and thousands of hits the web page per day in the order of, uh, of a million hits per month with massive downloading of data, pictures. It has uh, thousands of photographs, I mean tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of photographs of, of the fauna and the flora of Mexico, uh, um, sections for children, games, um, all puzzles, music, songs, all kinds of things, um, resources for teachers. Uh, the, when I left Conavio and started thinking about what, <clears throat> what has happened in the last 13 years, all the time that I spent there, it, it, the, at that time is when I started reading the, the, the theoretical papers, the, the, the conceptual papers about policy and science, the transfer of, of, of knowledge to, to, to policy making, and realizing that some things we have done without really knowing what we were doing. Uh, but uh, it has been a very interesting exercise to be, to step out and see things from the outside rather than from the inside. When you are in the trenches, you don't think much, you're just trying to, 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 to do the best you can. Um, from the outside, as, 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 as an academic, as a scientist, as a professor, I, can, I have the time to think and also to, to, to read the papers. And, well, there, there, there are some lessons that we learned the hard way by making mistakes, and now I, I understand and I realize that we found solutions that were not so bad in the sense that others have found similar solutions <clears throat> that have worked in other cases. Uh, just just to, to answer, uh, I mean, to, to, to recapitulate, to, to, to give you, to, to leave you with a, uh, with a summary of what I told in this Conabio conference, uh, it is fundamental in the policy, in the, in, the, in, the, in the science to policy process that there are institutions capable of uh, providing a space where uh, stakeholders can sit together to negotiate and to, to talk and to, uh, on, to spend time trying to understand each other. It's essential that th this institution is capable of translating and communicating, and this is better done to, uh, by professionals, professional um, journalists, professional writers. And finally, and this is the key thing, uh, the, the, the key thing is uh, 
the institution should be capable and willing to spend the the long time that requires follow up, the the years that are required to 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 begin the process and finally end it in in, in because of the law changed or because um, um, permits are now being done a different way than they were being done or denied before, or a budget has been uh, altered. <coughs> And then, and then, the thing does not end there. You have to keep an eye on what's been achieved, and simply, uh, the price of of of, of um, success is eternal vigilance. To mis misquote uh, a famous uh, former president of the United States. <laughs>